Welcome to the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum, also known as PIAM, here in the beautiful city of Long Beach, California. I am your host, Miss Lulu, and we would like to welcome you to Island Block Jam Sessions, where music and mana meet, brought to you by the Roomba Foundation of Long Beach. Thank you for being here and taking part in this special gathering that celebrates Pacifica music, art, and culture. So let's get to jamming. Please put your hands together for our Island Block Jam Sessions featured artists, the organic, good vibes, and blissful harmonies of the trio known as Fiva. But before we go to jamming, let's get to know Fiva a little bit better. What does it mean to perform live in front of family and friends here at Payam? So happy to be here at the, at the Payam Museum. And in fact, this is my first, my first time here. And we're so happy to be here with uh, Island Block Radio. And you know what, it means a lot as being Samoans here from Southern California and myself, being born and raised here my whole life, um, to have this space to learn about ourselves, to share our heritage, to embrace the arts. It's, it's, it's amazing. And to have our family and friends here, we're very, very grateful. And for those that don't understand Samoan, what does Faiva mean? Uh, well, Faiva means craft and any, any sort of craft. And so it could be a traditional craft like fishing, weaving, tattooing, um, or it can be something more contemporary like education. Uh, for us as Faiva, our Faiva, our craft is music. And so we really take that seriously. We try to perfect our Faiva through our music, through the lyrics that we, we sing, and the lyric really channeling that uh, our native language and, and, our, and our ancestors. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Is there a mantra or proverb that Faiva lives by? You know, we, take, we draw a lot of inspiration from, from our culture and, and um, from the knowledge of our ancestors. And so one of the, the proverbs that I think really speaks to that is, which means that the Tava'i bird cherishes its feathers. And so the Tava'i is a tropic bird with this beautiful red feathered tail that you can see while it's soaring in the sky. And um, it really cherishes it. And I think that um, relates to what we do and cherishing who we are as Samoans, who we are as Pacific Islanders and Polynesians, and really embracing our language, our music, and our culture. And so that's sort of um, a mantra that we really try to strive for. Thank you so much. So now that we know a little bit more about Faiva, let's get to jamming. Once again, hands together for Faiva. Well, you know what? Let's uh, go ahead and introduce our, our group here. So on my right, I have the guitar extraordinaire, none other than <laughs> Mr. Vaya Itsonu, all the way hey. from the beautiful village of Pangu Pangu to Tuila. And on my left... Mr. Tini Fuloa Gray, all the way from the village of Gardena. Gardena. Yeah, not too far up the road. <laughs> uh, my name is Grant Wangtia, and I hail from the village of Oceanside, not too far south of here. Um, but you know, this next song we're gonna we're gonna feature is a song written by Tini's father, the legendary Fanana Jerome Gray. A song called Le Manu Filemu, and it's a love song, talking about. Um, Comparing the one you love to a dove that's just out of reach. Here we go. Oh, see you 
ואמר דעולו מי. בילה מהו האפה לא נושא איסיותיי. בלעד למי לצאי מי או לצאו רפיעי. הוא עלה למולו ומצא את סולי מצאי. song and it's uh, it's called Pusa Amoa and it compares the one you love to a flower. Does anybody know what the Pusa Amoa is? She said Plumeria. I think Plumeria, there you go. Plumeria, all right. And it says when you <laughs> take the Plumeria, said. put it in your ear, makes you that much more beautiful. All right, so here we go. La, 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 la. Lele, 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 Lele,
puasa mana ya levai le la lo langi ato mana ya levai le la lo langi ato Ten more. <laughs> Round of applause for Joe Sab and Miss Lulu out here from Island Bach for uh, collaborating with uh, Auntie Fran and for inviting us here in this spot. Thank you, Joe. You guys are awesome. All the way in Long Beach. We still do it in Long Beach like this. Yeah, beautiful. I appreciate beautiful. it. Um, gosh, can't wait to see who the next artist is, right? And we're going to come back and support the next one. All right. So, so as is customary in Samoan uh, performances, we're going to end our set with uh, a tauluma, a very special uh, solo dance. And uh, we'd like to feature a beautiful Molina Fauese, who's going to grace us with uh, Siva Samoa tonight to a song called Fauli Mayomama. Feel free to Ayuli and uh, dance along. Can we get another round of applause for them, please? It's like they've done this their whole lives or something. It's not their first rodeo. Wow, that was beautiful, guys. Thank you so much. We're going to take some questions from the audience. Do we have anybody who has a question? <gasps> yes, Auntie, Auntie Fran. Fran. <laughs> please make your way down to the stage. Your question, my lovely young lady. What would you like to share with your eldest ancestor? If you had dinner or lunch with your oldest ancestor, what would you like to share with them? We're here. We're still here. <laughs> <laughs> We're still here. Despite all of the, 
the struggles that Pacific Islands and indigenous people around the world have been through, through colonization, globalization, oppression, these types of things, we're still here, we still speak our language. All three of us actually are fluent in Samoan. And I think that's what I would would uh, tell my eldest answers if I ever had the opportunity to do that. I said, we're still here, yeah. Wow, can we get a round of applause for that answer? <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> How important is it for Fiva to actually sing in your language, in your native tongue? For me, <laughs> <laughs> being the son of a, a, a legendary musician such as Fanana Jerome Gray, there's a lot of pressure because, you know, he, he has his own stories growing up in Samoa, and as an artist, he was always telling those stories through music. And for me, uh, I didn't have his experiences. I have my own experiences, and a lot of, of my life, you know, was was brought up in Hawaii and here in California. Uh, some of it in Samoa, but uh, you know, he always encouraged us to not do music <laughs> because it doesn't feed the family. You know, it's it, we struggled uh, being a, you know, the artist of the family, and but I always. You know, that's why he encouraged us to go and study other things in college, and we did. But even after graduation, we all fell back into music. <laughs> I don't know. It was just Part our ancestors was pulling us back. And to like, hey, you know, it's not about the careers and the money. It's about who you truly are. And, and uh, I, I had that sense of responsibility when he had a stroke several years ago. And I was just like, man, if something happened to him, uh, nobody would be singing his songs, for my family at least. And I was just like, I made it an effort, my favor, to continue his legacy. And so did my brother and my sisters. Yeah. And it comes full circle. That's incredible. That's beautiful. During the whole performance, look at what JP and Leone has made. Wow. That is gorgeous. Actually, JP, what were you feeling while the performances were going on and depicted here in your painting? Well, you know, Fiva is uh, their Samoan music and their language and their spirit feeling the ocean, feeling the plants and the breeze blowing through it, feeling the, our hibiscus flowers and the red tail of the uh, Tava'e uh, bird. And Leone, what about you? It felt like um, I was going to do abstract, so I went with that. And this, the heart was for um, all the love songs. That's beautiful. So thank you again. Another round of applause for FIVA here at Island Block Jam Sessions. Let's just say it has been a phenomenal day for the culture. You can truly feel the mana vibrate throughout the whole space. Thank you to our featured artists, the trio known as FIVA, for blessing us with that special performance and sharing those wonderful gems with our audience. Special thanks to our resident artist, Jason Pereira, for sharing his inspirations of the shared space in real time. Shout out to Chef Brumfield with Lopacas for providing us such a delicious spread. And special thanks to our family here at the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum, Payam, for allowing us to showcase Island Block Jam sessions, as well as the wonderful folks at the Roomba Foundation of Long Beach for supporting Pasifika music, art, and culture. And thank you all for hanging out with us today. Happy holidays from Island Block Network and the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum. Join us next time for another episode of Island Block Jam Sessions, where music and mana meet. As we bid you farewell from the city by the sea, Long Beach, California, Tofa Soifua, and Chihu!